mirror, mirror in front of me. Who is the greatest one at the BBC? You are, Janet. Come on, fix her or get rid of her. Ha! A love spell. She doesn't know what love is. So I'll make her fall in love and she'll go right off the rails. The banana love spell. One bite and she's hooked for life. Now, take one banana and recite the following. Yellow fruit from ancient trees. Make her fall in love with the first man she sees. Yeah, yeah, I'm taking deep breaths. OK. Yeah, there's three. Yeah. Yeah, I have. I've got me patch on. Yeah. It's Paul McKenna. Yeah. Yeah, I have Paul. Yeah, I've got the video. Yeah, on the cassette. On the LP, yeah, on the tape, on the book. Yeah, I will, I will. Yeah, I'll get the T-shirt and see the show. OK, well, well, thanks very much, Paul. No, I know I will, yeah. She is, thanks. I give up smoking. Three days now, well, three days, four hours, and about two and a half minutes, to be exact. I'm doing well, though, you know? I mean, I'm not really that bothered, to tell you the truth. And I'm trying everything, like, you know, that they recommend. I'm sort of drinking lots of water when I get craving. And um, I'm on the fruit diet, you know, because that sort of gets rid of the craving as well. And I'm doing this thing that John Cleese recommends. It's, you know, you fill a glass full of water and put all your old stumps in it and sniff it when you get the age. <sighs> oh, God, it's a very evocative smell. Do you know, there's a dirty big stump in here with about six drags left in it. Do you think if I got it out with a pen, I could dry it? <laughs> what are you want? <laughs> Come in, I mean. <laughs> All alone? Yes, the dwarves are at work down the mines. I'm baking apple pies. <laughs> what do you want? Still desperate for a fag? Shame about that. Still, they say bananas can get rid of the craving. You can have mine if you want. Listen, I'm inundated with bloody fruit in here. There's more exotic fruit in here than there is at the Sydney Mardi Gras. <laughs> Go on, take a bite. You never want another ciggy again. Look, I'll put it in your bag for after the show. Now get changed! <laughs> Do you know, I'm sure she's on the change. <laughs> There she is, flaunting herself for all to see, Miss Lily Savage. I made them stairs in this long frock, thank Christ, I was terrified. There was like a Princess Margaret there, wasn't there, as I come down? <laughs> She's a miserable cow, that <laughs> I'm a bit tense tonight. I give up smoking. The mornings are the worst, aren't they? You know what I mean? I'm like, look at me twitching, keep still, lady, please. <laughs> you know, when you get up in the morning and you, like, you have a cup of tea? Well, it seems to go together, doesn't it? A mug of steaming tea and a nice fag steaming away. Help, <laughs> <laughs> oh, Lily. And our postman was banging on the door at half seven with a registered letter. No, it wasn't a summons before you start. <laughs> <laughs> Tell you what, we won't see him again. Mm. I stoved his head in and buried him under the patio and saved him. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what made me give up? Serious. Vanity. Because I went to one of these department stores and had a makeover. You know where they sit you in the middle of the shop, like, and there's, you know, everybody stares at you. <laughs> and there was this young beautician, she's about 19, and um, lovely skin, lovely teeth, lovely eyes, nice natural blonde hair, you know, little bitch. And she, uh... <laughs> <laughs> so she put me in this chair, right, and she dragged all my hair back off my head, hauled it back, <laughs> and took every bit of makeup off me. And then slammed me face in one of these magnifying illuminated mirrors. <laughs> Do you know what? I sobered up like that. Honest to God, I shot. <laughs> oh, you shouldn't do that to people. I look like Zelda out of Terror Hawks. <laughs> <laughs> Where did 
it all. These lines come from shit that's smoking for you, so I give up. It's not fair, is it? You say, women aren't allowed to grow old gracefully. You know, are they, though? Uh, look at Bridget Bardo. I mean, she don't wear any makeup and she's let her hair go, hasn't she? <laughs> Grey. Oh, my God. <laughs> I couldn't. No, no, no way. And, like, um, you know, the press slag her off for looking at, you know, this old, look at that old bag. She used to be a sex kitten. What a dog. Sunday sports. <laughs> Bardo, what a dog. And yet Charles Aznavour, who's years older than Bridget Bardo, is considered a sex symbol. <laughs> Charles Aznavour. <laughs> Would you have a shag with Charles Aznavour? <laughs> Not for money, but that's what Charles Aznavour. <laughs> How can anyone say Charles Aznavour is a sex symbol? He looks like a baboon's reflection in the back of a tablespoon. <laughs> Imagine waking up next to that. Imagine it's clinging to your shoulder. <laughs> You've only had this big. <laughs> See, the medical profession's been on the wrong tack all these years because it's no good putting on fag packets, smoking kills you. Because it doesn't work. I could have a disease lung in my handbag and I'd still smoke, I'm telling you. <laughs> but, but if they put smoking gives you crow's feet, wrinkles, <laughs> sunken cheeks, a nasty, tiny, tight little pierced gob with loads of lines running off with that lip he bleeds into. A yellow fringe. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> and you never get a shag because you stink. I mean, you'd never stink again, would you never. <coughs> I kill for the ciggy. I'm like this. I mean, I've done things to take my mind off it. Went to a safari park. Oh my god. <laughs> Have you ever been to a safari park? And, of course, we went on a red-off day, so you can't open the windows, can you? So we're all sat there sweating like prisoners of war. But, uh, <laughs> I said to her, to wipe them windows, see where we are. And we stopped, and, like, she wiped all the windows, and about 200 baboons descended on the car. <laughs> and one of them sat smack bang on the windscreen. <laughs> Have you ever seen a baboon's arse that close? <laughs> I'll tell you what, I'll never eat trifle again. <laughs> <laughs> oh. But there's a lot of pressure, isn't there, from magazines and commercials, you know, to stay beautiful. I mean, I'm gullible. Do you lot, like, if you watch an advert on the telly, do you believe it? I do. No, I do, you see. I'm, a go I'm gullible. I nearly said another word then. <laughs> Gobshite was the word I was going to use. <laughs> Mr Muscle loves the jobs you hate to do. It doesn't empty the cat litter, though, does it? No. <laughs> It's like these do-it-yourself programmes they have, you know, where neighbours do each other's houses up. <laughs> this poor woman comes in and she looks at her front room and it's chocolate brown and green. <laughs> it's like a VD clinic. She goes, <laughs> not that I'd know, like, I've only ever seen it on documentaries. Or <laughs> and you get these women who say, I'm going to show you how to make that four-pound sideboard you bought at a car boot sale into a 14th-century Moroccan tea chest. <laughs> Three weeks later, at 98 quid, my £4 sideboard from a car boot sale looks like a 14th century Moroccan tea chest that's been painted by somebody on hallucinogenic drugs in the middle of a severe earthquake. <laughs> <laughs> and these shopping channels, I can't watch them. Crap, I bought off those shopping channels. <laughs> I bought a set of knives because one of them, if you do that round a spud, makes it into a big spiral, <laughs> which impresses your neighbours. <laughs> I don't know what you're supposed to do with them. Just like, you know, so, look on. <laughs> <laughs> and I bought this thing called a step class, which is like, it's for your buttocks, you know? And it's, um, it's a piece of plastic junk, basically, that cost me 49 quid, <laughs> with two, like, panels on it. And what you do, you get on it, and you do, I can't show because I've got my long skirt, and you do this, you go... <laughs> I know, Phyllis Dixie felt now. There you go, boys. <laughs> and you go like this on it, you go... <laughs> <laughs> and you watch this video of this Californian blonde piece. And she's full of it. She's going, come on, get them legs up, get them legs up. I thought, only get my legs up like that for 50 quid. You've had it, looks like... <laughs> 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 So what they don't tell you is, if you do this thing on polished lino, it moves. <laughs> so you're on this thing going... Oh, hang on, that was the front room I was in before. <laughs> so, 
I know, let's, like, and like this girl's on this video and she's going, oh yeah, and after half an hour, hard labour, she says, right, that's enough now, that's the warm-up over, let's get down <laughs> to sod off in your dreams, love, I'm telling you. <laughs> and all this is to get a bubble butt. <laughs> Do you know what a bubble butt is? Do you, don't you know? Well, a bubble butt's one of these bums, from a profile, it goes like that. Very fashionable to have a bubble butt. You can't sit down, you're like Mr Wobbly, you go... <laughs> And she says to you, oh, by the end of this tape, you'll be able to put a pencil between the cheeks of your buttocks. <laughs> what the bloody hell would you want to put a pen up? <laughs> so when you fall off this thing and break your hand, you can still write a letter. <laughs> and all these creams and potions, now you're getting shops. You don't know what the hell to use, do you? I mean, do, do you, though? You're stuck. Exfoliation seems to be all the rage. And a miracle thing called a face tightener. I've put it on other parts of my body, but it hasn't worked. <laughs> <laughs> Upper arms, I'm talking about. <laughs> you sort of, you dab it on and it makes your face go tight. It does, it works. And then you put your makeup on, you sort of like this. <laughs> you look like Peggy Lee on the back of a motorbike going 90 miles an hour. Cling film over the face. <laughs> and then, of course, you got it on and you're going somewhere and this side collapses. <laughs> Oh, like, it's like you had a stroke. You, know? <laughs> you look like Shirley Bassey in the middle of my way. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you know, you know. Are you kids? Yeah. She's rock. Hey, we want the karaoke. She like right, is it? Twenty five. <laughs> I got the blues when it's raining. <laughs> Mm -hmm. God, I'm dying for a pee. Mum, why'd you get so drunk? Mm -hmm. You know my social worker's coming around in the morning. Mm -hmm. She's she got to do an assessment. She'll call us a dysfunctional family. She'll put me in a, do a unit. <laughs> function. I am function. And we are not a dysfunction. And nobody's leaving this house in a secure unit neither. <laughs> What's she doing in my clothes? Get my clothes off, you scrub. I tell you, my house is my, my house and my clothes. <laughs> Get out of my house! Get out of my house! Well, I love a social drinker. House. The trouble is very social. I'll kill you, you scrubber! So, after nine in the morning, I'm gonna wake my mum up. Cup of tea. Mum. Mm. Oh, mm. No, I ain't gonna kick her. <laughs> mum. Hey, get on. God, I'm getting up now. I can't see. I can't see. I've gone blind! You're under the duvet cover. Get out! Oh, God. Oh, 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 I feel like I've been dug up mate, with the shovel. Don't tell me I know. What time's that social worker coming? Half ten. Bloody social workers, why can't she mind her own business? And what's she doing with that camera? She'll break it. I'm talking the cameras. Where are you going to tell that social worker you got that video camera from? Car boot and clap. Yeah, well, as long as you don't tell her it was a parked car boot and clap them. <laughs> <laughs> Casey, are you there? Oh, Casey. Oh, I'm in a terrible state. What Honest to God. Casey, you could lend us something to wear, could you? But you've got a most wonderful wardrobe, Lily. Absolutely wonderful. Such style, such taste. Oh, I'd kill for one of your little boot tubes. Oh, Casey, I'll lend you the boot tube any time, mm -hmm. honestly. But you see, our Jason social worker's coming round in half an hour, and I've never met her before, and I've got nothing suitable to wear. You could lend us one of your old Jordan Vision flocks, could you? <laughs> the wardrobe's yours. Take what you will. Casey, you don't right. thanks. Oh, thanks. And don't forget my Anne Summers party, Friday. Oh, no, I'll be here. You'll love the Chinese tickler. <laughs> Will your mother be long? Hey, hey, who's been drinking cans of tenants extra out in that back garden? There's half a dozen empty cans there. It's Juno over the lawn. It looks like a boss's tea party. Oh, yeah. Was she? Who was this? Yeah. Mm. Yeah, isn't she a bit old for you? Hmm? Mind you, at least she's an improvement on last week's. Do you remember her? Thought she looked like Baby Spice. More like Baby Jane. She was 40 if she was a day. <laughs> he's a proper little babe magnet, isn't he, eh? He loves older women. Ooh, what? Mind you, I should count me blessings. At least you won't fall pregnant. Not at your time of life, will you? <laughs> Mum, it's my social worker. Erin, <laughs> uh, 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 um, Bunty. Bunty, get off your arse and make Miss uh, Chayat. Miss Chayat, a cup of tea. Come on. Come on, please. You what? 
you know, chamomile, there's a bottle upstairs in the bathroom cabinet, so I thought it was dabbing it on a Sunday. <laughs> well, you shouldn't have took your best off, should you? Is Jason adjusting to home life? He was away a very long time. Ooh, tell me about it, love. My heart was bust, wasn't it? Bust. Oh, he's adjusted well. He's tucked to it like a duck to water. He's got loads of hobbies, you know. He's forever upstairs in his bedroom, mapping into a WWW. Oh, keen on software. No, soft pearl. <laughs> <laughs> and how's his relationship with his sister? You yeah, what? Well, what are you implying? Oh, there's no incense in this house, let me tell you. It's not upside close, you know. He has a very good relationship with his sister. He's a new man. He understands a woman's psyche. He knows our bunch. He's got PMT and is prone to violent mood swings. <laughs> I've sat him down, you see, and give him a full menstrual cycle seminar. <laughs> I'm just a little concerned that Jason may be at risk mentally in the family environment. Mental? Mentally? Oh, right, that's it. Go on, have a go. Don't start, Mum. Oh, wait tight, mate. Me sick coming round here, casting aspersions. Listen, you, beneath this exterior lurks the soul of a priest's housekeeper. I'm a very respectable woman. I've been on Richard and Judy ten times. <laughs> oh, God, we've known poverty. We've known misery. We've been to the Isle of Man house a season, as my old mother used to say. Lily, God will protect you, but make sure carry a brick in your handbag. As God is my witness. As God is my witness, they're not going to lick me. I'm going to live through all this, and when it's all over, I'll never be hungry again. No, nor any of my folk. If I have to lie, cheat, steal or kill, as God is my witness, I'll never be hungry again. Now sling your own... Go on. <laughs> Bloody social workers. Now, uh, you won't believe this, but uh, one of the things I am absolutely mad on is magic. Serious. I mean, I uh, honest. I love it. I mean, you should see me in a shop. I can make something vanish like that, I tell you. <laughs> Especially in this frock. <laughs> Two spins eyes and I'm gone. Nobody knows. <laughs> so it gives me great pleasure to introduce the maestro himself. Would you please put your hands together for the one and only Mr. Paul Daniels. Come on. <laughs> Well, where is he? Where is he? Hey, Has anybody looked for him? Is he here? Yes. Hang on a minute. I'll go and find out. I'm not having this. Where's that Paul Daniels? I'm gasping for the fag as well. Nerves are hanging out. Have you looked down the corridor, see if he's there? I'm, I'm sick of this. Absolutely sick of this. That's shocked anyway. Where's me ciggies? I'm gagging. Where's this banana off Janice? I'll have to have a bit of this. Mm -hmm. What's going on for us? <gasps> oh, oh, there you are. Look, I'm really sorry I'm late. I've, uh... <laughs> this, this is Debbie. This is my wife. Uh, how, how'd you do? Oh, nice to meet you, Lily. <laughs> Listen there, Mr. Dan, is it? Oh, oh, may I call you sweet... Uh, Paul, sorry. <laughs> you wouldn't mind going in, would you, to the studio? Because, you know, they're getting a bit restless, you know? Do you, Trey? I'll, uh, I'll show Debbie to her dressing room. Oh, thank you very much. No, you're thank welcome. You. you come with me, madam. Come on. Don't mind that rabbit. I'll do it with that. <laughs> Yes, it is I, Dr. Daniels, and why am I here? I am here because my assistant is nervous, so I'm going to remove the problem immediately, using, of course, magic. And so will you please give a nice round of applause to the lovely Debbie McGee. Oh, you've grown, Debbie. <laughs> well, there's been a bit of a bit of hassle, to tell you the truth. Uh, Debbie can't come. You know that rabbit she's got with her? Somebody's yeah. put it in a pot on a baby belling stove in her dressing room and boiled it. <laughs> Honestly. So I've dressed up like this for now? No, 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 I'm nervous. I'm mad nervous. I'm always, like, nervous when I'm Debbie gets nervous. Does she? And I've invented this cure for nerves. All right, then. Wait, let's take them off. That's easy. Look at that, eh? Forty and no panty girdle. What? <laughs> right, now, what do you do? It's dead easy. I lift this up like this, see, like that. And this is the operating table, and you get in there. Now, elegantly, like what Debbie does. <laughs> Shut up, you try and get up here in this. 
Right, it's okay, Paul. I'm... You're all right, you're all right. <laughs> Just keep coming till your head's on here. I've done this before, you know, another circumstances. <laughs> <That's it. laughs> I'm honest. Oh, no, my that's God. It. No, 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 that's it. No. That's it. Oh, it's right. nice and comfy, isn't it? It is, it is. Right. Yeah. Oh, my God. There my feet, I'm wiggling, just to prove that they're my feet. I'm moving the right one, that right part, and there's the left one. Debbie doesn't talk. Oh, doesn't she? No. I'm not surprised, but you just can't get a word in edgeways. <laughs> <laughs> Where's my big chopper? Right, I've got my big chopper now. What chopper? Pardon this? You're not sorting me enough. No, 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 I didn't no, think. No. I thought it was a vanishing lady illusion or something. No, removing the uh, parts of the other... Ah! Ah! <laughs> just did something. <laughs> You'll think yourself lucky if you've been a fella that could have really hurt. I know. <laughs> it's 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 <laughs> and then, uh, oh, hey. Oh, no. Well, never mind. Well. Never mind. Never mind. Don't worry. That's <laughs> <laughs> well, much better. <laughs> yeah. Here we have the head end. On here we have the feeting end. The On here is the, bis the missing pieces. Here. And this is why you're nervous. You see, if you just come round here, you can see how nervous that you are because. Butterflies in the stomach. <laughs> That's my gut you've got there. I know, but the rest of you's all right. Give us a little wave out of here. You see? Well, That's my hand, honest. Look, yeah. look, see? There you go. Yeah, there we go. Please. There you go. So there it is. And uh, that is the result of a wonderful experiment to remove the nerves from a person. Thank you. <laughs> Excuse me. Excuse me. I'm really sorry. It was lovely. What? Lily, she locked me in a cupboard. I'm <gasps> sorry. Debbie McGee, how you can come out here so bare-faced and tell lies like that about me? Paul, she's a bare-faced liar. Did Debbie you McGee lock that woman in that dressing room? No. You didn't? No, honestly. She, she did. She locked me in a cupboard. If you don't apologise to my wife, you are not getting your belly back. Here, you! <laughs> what? <laughs> You can apologise to me and all the other people you've been horrible to. Who no. have I been horrible to on the studio floor? No what? one. Name one person. Loads, the band, for a start. Yeah, 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 yeah. Shut up, the lot of you. Wasn't for me, you wouldn't have a job. <laughs> apologise to the band or you don't get your belly back. I'm sorry. Can I have my stomach back, please? There's oh, a right. coil in there. <laughs> <laughs> Put that back in there. Not fair. Like ah! That. And this out of here, and this ah. out of here, like that. Ah. And let's have a nice round of applause for the totally restored Lily Savage. Oh, thank you very much. Gets cheesed off by routine. Oh, I'll scream at the next ten of beans. <laughs> Come on, you swine bleep, it'd make a girl weep. And what are these? Some posh kind of greens. <laughs> oh, I'd murder the Pope for a ciggy. <laughs> Put a smile and say, Have a nice day. <laughs> will my hopes remain dreams or will I find the means that'll lead me down my golden way? I'm a checkout dreamer, <laughs> I'm a country girl, heading for the Opry, giving it a whirl, twang my guitar, I'll be the best and the brand new star, a country and western. <laughs> I've got the head and I've got the style, a brand new bust. And a brand new smile I'll sing of heartache Black and blue My dog's called Shep And my boy's called Sue <laughs> Pardon. I'd like to recommend the Polly Cotton. <laughs> <laughs> the Ivy, the RCE, the best 
very best thing that happened to me. Oh, look at you, love, you're buying nappies and maternity bras. And what do you get? 14 stitches, what does he get? Cigars, tie a knot near your pair. <laughs> Bozine, 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 we'll knock the dandruff clean on half of you. I'm a checkout dreamer. Yeah, yeah. I'm a country girl. Uh-huh. Heading for the opening. Don't say. Giving it a whirl. Oh, yeah. Twang my guitar. Twang, twang. I'll be the best and sure will. Brand new star. Brand new star. Tree and Weston. Tammy Burnett, she knew what for. Stand by your man, keep singing Tammy while I kick his ass right through that door. Right, young boy, check out Dreamer. Check out Dreamer. Now, country girl, let me hear you folks. Heading up, 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 The land, sitting on a till. How much is man's town, Kathleen? Thanks. About the size of their bill. Freezer shelves, trolley carton. <laughs> I'll never live like Dolly Parton. <laughs> Long cash back, love. How much? Fifty quid? God, you're pushing the boat, aren't you? <laughs> Nah, I'm depressed. See, you're smoking again. No willpower, some people. Where's Paul Daniels? He's gone home with his wife. I'm sat here, discarded, chucked away like an old you shoe. Do you know, I've never felt like this before, Janice. If I didn't know any better, I'd say somebody's put a spell on me. Somebody did. Me! Well, <laughs> you know that banana? It was bewitched. I fixed it so the first person you saw after you took a bite out of it, you'd fall in love with. It wasn't my fault, it was Paul Daniels. See ya. <laughs> no, I was she was a witch. Well, two can play at that game, madam. <laughs> the spell can backfire, as you're about to find out. When it returns to you threefold, there won't be a doubt. The rain will fall and the wind will rustle when you fall in love with Gary Bushel. <laughs> oh, I'll have a bit of that. Gary, come here. Gary! Gary! Janet! 